a group of scientists, doctors, environmental organizers, and concerned citizens got together and they called for the urgent stop to the deployment of 5G. They mm. said that it's been proven harmful to human bodies, that this is an experiment on humanity, mm. and that this should be called a crime under international law. Strength and honor. Strength and honor. Strength and honor. At my signal, unleash hell. What up, y'all? It's Devin with Up TV, aka the Dot Connector, and soon we will be living in a world where 5G will replace 4G because 5G is a network that can mostly operate in the cloud. Internet speeds will be a hundred times faster than today's internet. Soon you will be able to download a two hour film in only 3.6 seconds. With 3G, it takes 26 hours, and with 4G, it takes six minutes. This new technology will allow self-driving cars to function properly and safely since they require a constant stream of data. Companies like AT&T, Huawei, and ZTE want you to believe that 5G will be the best thing for the world, but the truth remains that 5G is a real danger to humanity. I mean, scientists are literally warning that 5G has the power to kill you. Your cell phone is already a huge danger because of the electromagnetic frequencies being sent from and to your device. Every cell phone, every cell tower, and every router on the planet is constantly pulsating with radio frequency radiation that has been proven by science to cause cancer and it can even do some real damage to your DNA. Wireless radiation can lead to cancerous heart tumors, uh, brain tumors, uh, DNA damage. Wireless radiation is linked to infertility, to autism, Alzheimer's, and more. And guess what? All the effects that I just listed, those are some of the effects that are known according to the technology that's being seen today. And now, many scientists are warning that the ramifications of 5G are astronomical, especially since none of these companies like AT&T, Huawei, or ZTE haven't performed any safety testing whatsoever. Let me say that again, without safety testing, Wireless radiation has biological effects, period. This is no longer a subject for debate when you look at PubMed and the peer-reviewed literature. These effects are seen in all life forms, plants, animals, insects, microbes. In humans, we have clear evidence of cancer now. There is no question. Um, we have evidence of DNA damage, cardiomyopathy, which is the precursor of congestive heart failure, neuropsychiatric effects. So you have to ask yourself one real question. Why in the hell are they trying to roll out this 5G technology so quickly? Obviously, it's not for the benefit of the consumer, that being you and me. It's because of one thing and one thing only, and that is more power, more control. With 5G, the elite can finally move forward with their plan to lock us in a real grid or matrix called the Internet of Things. They vision a world where every single item on the planet will be connected through the World Wide Web. I'm talking about everything from your clothes to your silverware and all your other dishes, your furniture, your couch, your desk, your countertops, your tables, everything, your bed, your pillow. I mean, they want it all connected. Do you know how many devices in your home will be giving off radiation at any given time? It's madness. We all know the movie Ready Player One is predictive programming at its best. How do you think they intend to create a place like the Oasis, a virtual world where you can be anything or do anything? They need 5G. They need the Internet of Things. With the Internet of Things, that would mean the complete end of privacy. Everything you say, do, or even think will be recorded and possibly saved somewhere in the cloud. The Internet of Things makes a new world order possible because it locks everyone into a grid that is perfect for a new one world currency like Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. The most important thing they want online is every human being on the planet. With an RFID chip implant, they will have total control over the entire world, making it impossible to ever resist again. 
And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so and that, instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say, you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do, what everything, you sell. Everything. Everything is in there, you know? And so they, they want a one world government controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips and they control people. And you become a slave, you become a serf. Aaron, you said that he was, and I think it's important. And I know this about the Rockefellers, from Dr. Dennis Cuddy and many others who literally, you'll be 20 years old in a lunch line at college, and no, it's David Rockefeller. And he hears here, I mean, they're experts at recruiting and getting what they call players, and that clearly he was, I mean, I want to make it specific and just get you to reiterate what you said last night uh, about you were, you got 30% of the vote, you were having an effect, you, you, you made mad as hell, they knew that you'd started the Constitution Party, yeah. they knew that you were, uh, somebody who's taking action and getting things done. He already made some big films, had a lot of other successes. Right. So they were trying to recruit you, and, and, and didn't it come down to the point of, hey, we are here to recruit you, and don't worry, your chip's going to say, don't mess with us. You know, this guy's uh, don't touch. Yeah, yes, that did happen. Now, I was definitely being recruited, but it's more subtle than that. Well, in your words, just go through the process, and then, and then what do you say? Well, what it is is, remember, we were friends, and we used to have, he used to go to my house a lot, we'd have dinner, we'd talk. And he'd tell me about business investments that he'd get involved in, you know, or they would help me with this business investment or that business investment. And was I interested in joining the Council on Foreign Relations? You know, I would have to get a letter to join them, but was I interested in that? And, uh, you know, just uh, just stuff, you know, leading you on. And, and uh, I, I used to say to him that I never really did that because that wasn't where I was coming from. You know, as much as I like you, Nick, you know, your ways and my ways, we're, the, we're on the opposite side of the fence. You know, I don't believe in enslaving people, you know, and... Um, and he would come back with, oh, I do? Or, well, it would be more like, you it's know... It's better for them. Well, it's more like, you know, um, how do I put it? It was like, what do you care about them? What do you care about those people? What difference does it make to you? Take care of your own life. Do the best you can for you and your family. What do the rest of the people mean to you? They don't mean anything to you. They're just serfs, they're just people. You know, it was, it was just a lack of caring, you know? And that's just not who I was. It was just sort of like cold, you know? It was just like cold, you know? And uh, I used to say to him, what, what's the point of all this? You have all the money in the world you need. You have all the power you need. What's the point? You know, what's the end goal? And he said the end goal is to get everybody chipped, to control the whole society, to have the, to have the bankers, the, the elite people, you know, the bankers and some governor controlling the world. And, and, and I said, oh, do all the people in the Council on Foreign Relations believe this way you do? He said, no, no, no. You know, it, it, most of them believe they're doing the right thing. A lot of them believe it's better, it's better off being socialistic. You know, we have to convince people that capitalism, that socialism is really capitalism. Because America is becoming a socialist country. It's a communist country today. Some call it a conspiracy, but it would seem as if they want an empire that will never fall. Slaves that will never be freed. And the only God you know to truly exist, your government. The scariest part about all of this is the fact that the rollout of the Internet of Things has already begun and the rollout of 5G will officially begin next year, 2020.
Scotty, after the UK agreed to allow Huawei's rollout of 5G, the country is under pressure to reverse their decision. Now, the U.S. has already threatened to withhold intelligence from Britain and is even threatening to withhold intelligence policy from Britain if it continues with its plan. Now, China's ambassador to London, Liu Xiaoming, urged the UK to make the right decision independently of the supplier's new network. Writing in the Sunday Telegraph, Liu wrote, the last thing the world needs is the introduction of any sort of discriminatory measures toward companies involved in 5G network development. The last thing China expects from a truly open and fair global Britain is a playing field that is not level. Now, Liu said that he understands the concerns over 5G, but that countries and companies should work together to manage those fears. And just last week, Italy's Prime Minister Giuseppe Con to assured Huawei that it will not face discrimination in the rollout of Italy's 5G network. Now, this is after already having met with Huawei Chief Executive Reng Zhengfei. Now, I told him that we have adopted some precautions, some measures to protect our interests that demand very high levels of security, not only from Huawei, but any company entering into the 5G arena. So what are your thoughts? Do you think that 5G is as bad as some people are making it out to be? If it does turn out to have no negative effects on our health, do you think that the government would use this tech for good or use it to enslave humanity? Sound off in the comment section and let me know exactly what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to help this video out by liking and subscribing. Also hit the bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. This is Devin with Up TV. I love you family and I'll holla at y'all later. Peace. Assess what you have in your own possession that you can control. For example, in my home, we have completely hardwired all of our technology. My computers run a lot faster. They're certainly more safe because we don't have any radio frequency exposures. A lot of our technology appears to be hardwired, but you have to take it one step further and also go into your settings and turn off all the antennas. You can buy a little adapter to hardwire most of your cell phones, and that just means plug it into your router using an ethernet cable, and then just put a little adapter on that will allow you to plug directly into your device. But plugging it in does not automatically disable those antennas. So you just simply go into settings, identify all the antennas. One cell phone may have five or six separate antennas. There could be one for cellular, one for data, one for Bluetooth, one for Wi-Fi, one for locator, and by now the industry is using us as their network, so there could be an additional one for a hotspot. Turn them all off and hit save and you will have nice safe technology. Hmm. So she's speaking from a personal perspective, right? We should make sure that as many of our de devices as possible should be hardwired. But the issue with 5G is that it will be impossible to walk outside without exposing yourself to this radiation because right. these small cell towers are going to be everywhere. Thank you for watching Up TV. If you like this video and would love to see more, check out these great videos here. And don't forget to subscribe to Up TV and Up TV 2 for even more great videos.